This handle is the GoPro Volta, and it may be the new must-have accessory for all GoPro users. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Today, I am excited to show off the new GoPro Volta, which is a brilliant accessory that combines multiple accessories into one. If you are even close to a regular GoPro user, you may want to pick one of these up. I highly, highly recommend it. Everything about it is really cool. So let's go ahead and talk about the details, but the short, short version of this is, this one accessory can act as a handle, a tripod, a Bluetooth remote, as well as an external battery pack for your GoPro. That's a lot of stuff in one device, and GoPro really pulled this off. Let's go ahead and talk about it in uh, a little bit more detail. So here's the GoPro Volta. I'm gonna walk you through uh, the design and specs and stuff like that. So starting off just here at the bottom, you do have a removable lanyard you can put onto your wrist or any of your bags to hold on to everything. It does have an adjustable um, spring-loaded clip to kind of tighten it on your wrist. And this is stretchy, so you can extend this out. It makes it a little bit easier to get over your wrist if you've got gloves on or anything like that. Now GoPro says this is weather resistant, so it's gonna hold up in snow and stuff, but do not take this underwater. It is not water resistant, so don't expect to take this underwater diving or free diving, scuba diving, anything like that. So it then goes and splits part of the way up, about two thirds up. There are two legs on the Volta that will extend out. So you can use it just handheld or you can prop it up this way and turn it into a makeshift tripod. So it's not particularly high, but a great way to put it down and get at least some kind of tripod action out of this thing. So those close up, they stay nice and neat tight in there. I really like that. As you move up, I'm gonna start on the side. There's a button here, and this is an additional set of clips. So if I press this, yeah, those snap right out. So this is great if you have a backpack or another strap where you wanna connect your GoPro to. So you can hook this up, put the GoPro on top, connect this to your bag on your chest, anything like that. So an additional set here, they're super strong. And I love this button, it just feels so good. So they don't even collapse on their own. You do have to press the button again and then close them. One more time, just for fun. Yeah, spring loaded, really nice button work here by GoPro. I love that feature. Then we have our USB-C cable that's gonna plug into the side of the GoPro. And then our buttons on the back. So there's a few buttons that they've actually included here. So you have your mode and power button here on the bottom to actually control the GoPro. You have your record button there in the center. Then you have your Bluetooth button there. There are a series of status lights built in so you can see battery life and your camera mode on there. And this whole thing is compatible with GoPro mods. So if you have any additional mods going on with your GoPro, you can still use this at the same time. Then you have your standard GoPro mount here at the top. As I mentioned, one of the bigger benefits of the, uh, the Volta is battery life and adding that extra battery life to the GoPros. Anyone who's used a fairly recent GoPro will tell you that, that battery life has been one of the weak points for the system. Like the camera quality, everything like that is, is top notch, but battery, it's fallen short. And especially with the original battery in cold weather, it, it would take a hit. So GoPro did try to help with this by recently releasing the Enduro battery. And I, I like this a lot. And especially in the winter time, skiing, snowboarding, stuff like that, outdoor activities in the, in the cold, this helps quite a bit extend the battery life. But it still, it still isn't enough. There's only so much space inside of a GoPro that, you know, GoPro can add battery capacity. And the way that they're getting around this now is with the Volta. So inside of here, there is actually a 4,900 milliamp hour battery. So a 4,900 milliamp hour battery. And combined with what's in the GoPro, you can get, they say over four hours of 5.3K video recording time at 30 frames per second. And I think that is a much more reasonable amount of time for your GoPro. And a lot of users already have something like this that they're using. They're already having it strapped to their chest. They're already holding it on a gimbal or a handle, something like that, or they've got a tripod. So by adding that battery capacity to this accessory, I think makes a whole lot of sense. To set this up, of course I need my GoPro. This happens to be the 10 Black, Hero 10 Black. 
on the side with the power connector, the battery, all that kind of fun stuff, this door, this will pop open. So you just pull down and it'll slide open for us there, nice and tight to keep it uh, water resistant. But you can see we got our memory card, we've got our, our USB-C port, we got the battery. This door here comes off really easily. Just pull it, boom, it comes free. And included with the Volta is a replacement door. It looks like this. So it's very similar, but it does have a hole at the bottom where your connector is going to go in. And GoPro again warns, when you have this mod door on here, it will not keep it water resistant because you have a big hole in it. So do not put this on and then go scuba diving. Just gonna be a bad idea. You're not gonna help your GoPro out by any means. So you're gonna hook that up towards the top and close that. Now you'll have full access to the USB-C port on the inside. So we can take our Volta here. We can connect our GoPro to our GoPro mount. There at the top, twist that into place. Do, 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 do. Once we get that in there, you of course can change the angle of your GoPro, whatever you need. And it also twists around. So depending on which way you wanna use this, you can twist the whole thing and change the different way your GoPro is facing. It's got a real nice click to it. I love it, like snaps into place. It's not weak, anything like that. Really nice click in how that rotates around. But then you can go ahead and connect the Volta to the side of the GoPro. This is just going to slot right into place and now our Volta is powering up our GoPro. As an added benefit, this USB-C cable can be used to charge other devices and not just GoPros. So if you had something like an iPad or another accessory that just need a little bit more juice, you can use the Volta to top it off. This will charge up over USB-C itself. You can see we have a USB-C port hidden on the underside. Now when you plug this in, it'll take under two and a half hours to charge up the entire thing but there is a fast charge mode, which will give you, uh, I believe 60% charge in only an hour, which is not too bad at all. Like I said, Volta can also be used wirelessly as a Bluetooth remote with your camera disconnected. Okay, with everything connected, I can go ahead and press the mode button here and we'll jump between there's time-lapse, back to video, and again to photo. If I want to capture a photo, press the center button, fire it off a photo. If I switch to video mode, can of course start recording a video that way as well. Boom, it's recording a video. Press again, just to stop. There's our Bluetooth pairing button. We even have our battery icon there to turn this thing on and off and you can see the battery percentage. So that's it. That is the GoPro Volta. I have not been this excited about a GoPro accessory in a long time. It's brilliant how they put everything together in such a compact package is just an awesome, awesome, awesome upgrade for any GoPro user. If you guys do wanna grab one of these for yourself, there's a link below in the description, and I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you think of the GoPro Volta? Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, or drop me a line down below in the comments, and stay tuned. Got a lot more videos coming your way.